tell I just got up. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to TK's Garage. I'm in the Green Monster. And we're going to Copart. the car in or anything like that. We're going to Copart to go get a, get a Copart walk around it. I'm out here in Dallas, Texas right now, and um, Dallas always seems to have, you know, especially out there at the Grand Prairie location, they seem to always have hot cars. It's hot, hot, hot. But you know what I mean. Hot cars, like, there's always McLarens, Lambos, Audi, some, something out there di that's different. Plenty of Hellcats. And um, today, we're gonna go out there and just look and see what we find. I got, I got no list. I'm just I'm kind of freeballing it, right? Auction is actually tomorrow <clears throat> at this location, and um, I need another car because, as you didn't know, this is gonna be going into the shop uh, again, a different shop, and we're gonna have the car like uh, wet sanded, like kind of get everything even, and then another couple of coats a clear coat put on the car and um and they're gonna spray and blend a couple areas that they need to do so like this car's going in for paint and i'm not gonna have it for a week um and there's just more stuff to just more and more and more stuff to do i know you with tk you being a fool i am but anywho's i hope y'all have an amazing day and i hope you guys enjoy this video but with that said Let's get to Copart. Yeah! All right, guys. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today, we're out here again at the um, beautiful Dallas location. And we're going to look at some other, the vehicle, some other vehicles that are out here this week. Now, it's funny. There's still some vehicles that were here from last week. That I know you guys are interested in, and there's a story behind the police motorcycle. And whatever. We're gonna do a couple follow-ups on a couple different things, but then we're gonna look at uh, all new stuff this week. But let's get directly into it. Y'all see it right here? <laughs> yeah, this Audi man, it's still here. Um, wasn't wasn't a no bid, but you know, look man, when they have reserves on it, this is why you see cars come up multiple times several weeks in a row but the first one we're going to look at today is actually new and it is this ford raptor and damn it if that thing does not look ridiculous now it has like a matte finish and i don't know if that's the actual paint or wrap we'll figure that out here in a minute Thirty-three thousand five hundred and thirty-three miles now i don't know if it's a real raptor meaning an svt with a v8 or if it's an eco trash i mean eco boost <laughs> but i don't know why it's here either it must be a theft recovery or something it's run and drive it looks clean i legit couldn't tell you why this is here i legit could not tell you why this is here all right, let's jump up in it. Let's jump, jimps in it. All right. Silver crest, higher, faster, whatever. Okay, so this must be a company truck or something, or is that like an option? I don't know. There's a bunch of old face masks on there. Huh. I don't know, man. I really don't know. You got a big giant touch screen right here. Oh, the key's not in it. I like that Ford and all the companies are kind of like following Tesla here uh, and, and doing that and putting those big screens in there. I love it on the Ram. Or I should say, I loved it on the Ram. The Ram is gone now. You guys have been asking me for a, a video on that and maybe later. You got these switches right here. 
interesting. You got the Raptor stitching and all of that stuff right there in the seat. She's clean, man. She is damn clean. The trailer back up. I think that's hilarious. Oh, man. She's in pretty solid shape, though, to be honest. I really don't know what it is that would um, cause this to be total that I, I I'm, I'm really right now I'm kind of at a loss I'm at a loss for words here because I really don't understand what it is that would cause this you know I'm just not seeing it it's got some kind of tuner on it not like you're going to tune much out of an eco boost but it is what it is what's uh look under the hood and see what she's working with i like these floor mats they're slippery as shit they remind me of the black mamba when i first got it with these rubber floor mats that were armor rolled to shit it says ford performance maybe maybe there's an actual v8 under this hood and it is not uh you know whatever <laughs> Uh-oh. There it is. Uh-oh. I'm going to say, wait. Wait a minute. It says Ford. Oh, wow. The shocks are not holding up. Yeah, this is a wrap. So she was white. Or is it spray? It's sprayed on. Somebody sprayed on this lining stuff on the truck. Okay, whatever. This says EcoBoost, but it has a Ford Performance cover. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I'm not sold on that, but whatever. Well, there you have it, guys. I don't even know if this is a real Raptor there. I mean, it says Raptor. Maybe. Oh, it's up on blocks, too. What the hell? It's up on a block. They sat it down on a block, I guess. Interesting. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Um, it will be coming up. Yeah, you can see the original color of this truck was white. And then they sprayed it with whatever this... I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It just looks, eh, whatever, different. But there you have it. Uh, on to the next one. All right, guys. And a very quick follow-up. Yes, the Buick is still here. Uh bid didn't go through for that quick follow-up on this bike evidently the uh officer or whatever got hurt um on this bike i don't know they didn't say whether or not he had fully recovered or were not yet but happened during work you know i guess some genius decided to pull out i mean it's got to be the worst time to pull out in front of somebody is pulling out in front of a motorcycle cop ouch Lots of other bikes like that, though. You know, bikes that you see that are stretched that probably shouldn't be stretched. Yeah, not not a good time. The McLaren is still here. You guys have seen that in a previous video. Uh, we're going to look at this C300 today, though. 60,536 miles on it. And to be honest, she is really fairly clean, man really really clean I mean she's sitting on flats a little concerning uh, I see prior body work this is why I like to come out here and see vehicles because and I'm gonna key y'all in on a little secret so this was this back bumper was replaced right and if you look right here you can see the orange peel from where this was already this has been repaired and then look hear it body filler body filler bumper it's one of the better jobs i've seen i'm not saying it's a bad job except for where it's cracking and peeling um that's all metal so it's just that side that side in the rear quarter and that back bumper i mean look i'm gonna be honest with you 
it does look good. It, it doesn't look bad. It's not like a Mickey Mouse job. And I've seen some Mickey Mouse, let's just make it look good for photos so that it goes back to the auction and they, you know, finesse somebody out of it. But you can see the tire is flat and you can see that right there. That tire is done. She does have power evidently because the window did go down when I opened it. No keys though, unfortunately. Little minor issues in the interior, peeling and whatnot, but she looks good, man. She looks really damn good. You know, somebody's probably gonna overpay for this because they haven't seen that, uh, you know, seen, they haven't come out and looked at it. They might just be bidding on it online. They haven't seen the damage. And uh, that'll do it to you every single time. Get a look under the hood, see how the engine compartment looks. Uh oh. Uh oh. So what am I missing here? This actually looks pretty good under the hood. Looks really damn good. Mercedes Brins approves Mobile One. Yeah. I mean, just normal dirt and whatnot. But she's clean. Yeah. Doesn't look like anything in the front's been repaired. It's just that stuff on the rear, man. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the Mercedes here in the comments below. All right, guys. So we're gonna we knock those two vehicles out. We're gonna continue to walk, and we're gonna see what we can find here today. Alright. Oh, look at this. I wonder if this is the first Ford Bronco to uh, come to Copart. Very interesting. Well, we have a 2021 Ford Bronco, which is uh, pretty much done. Now these are very hard to get, and depending on what the title situation is, now this is the basey base base Bronco, so it's not like it's anything special, but I'm willing to bet if the title is still clean and you put snap these plastics and get these back in together, lined up, same thing over here, you might have to replace that bumper, get a fender, oh, you're going to need a hood, it's bent. I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. You might have to get a good body guy to do his best and bend that out and paint it. The core support and whatnot looks decent. It's not really damaged. I mean, you got a little bit right here, you know, here on the inner fender well. And um, I'm sure there's some suspension stuff you'd have to tighten up. But uh, she's listed as a run and drive for a reason, 6,300 miles. You need a piece of trim here, a door. You might even be able to work with that door, body fill it and paint it. And you have a back panel. Is that glass? Oh, crap. This might be too much. See, the thing I'm looking at is this is something that if you could repair it in pretty short order, you could flip this car pretty quick knowing how bad the car market is right now. I was going to say, yo, let me find out. I know we're in Texas, but I was going to say, let me find out someone got a damn Corona. <laughs> All right, look at these seats. You got cloth, leather, or pleather, and then leather, or whatever. This is this is a nice three-material seat. I'm not going to lie. For Ford, I, I see you. Bronco logo. Little bitty screen. Yeah, you had a Barks root beer. Oh, there goes the fender and stuff and the other parts that are missing off the vehicle. So, I mean, I don't know. You probably could you probably could put this together and sell it really quick. 
and it's not the Bronco I think that is the most desirable I don't think this is that Bronco but I still think the way the car market is right now that you could probably put this together and sell it rather quickly rather rather quickly well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments and we'll roll on to the next one all right so we're gonna keep it on moving and get on down here to the next one see what we can find see what we can find before it gets hot as balls because it is hot out here already man you know when you can feel the sweat running down your ass crack <laughs> i know y'all gonna fight tk we don't need to hear this man i mean i'm just being honest with you man i gotta keep it a buck with y'all man so All right, I'm looking on my list and I don't really have, there's only a couple of, when I say my list, there was a couple of vehicles I was really looking at. Nothing crazy though. And I wanted to see if they were gonna show up, if it's over here yet. Um, you guys saw it on the previous video, but now I have keys for it. So I'm trying to see if I can find it. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a Hellcat, man. It's a Hellcat, y'all know. Y'all yeah, know what it is. Um, dun, 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 dun. We're looking here. Huh. Let me look and see if I can find this. We'll be right back. Ah, well, I found out it's not here. It is what it is. Well, I am going to look at this hummer h3 which i know you guys are going to be like but tk why why do we care about this hummer h3 well the reason why you'll care about it is it's flood damaged it's a it's a flood damaged h3 and the current uh pre-bid on the vehicle is 125 bucks now is it going to sell for 125 bucks of course not we know it's not but it's also because Somebody used this, believe it or not, as a taxi. I know you're not going to believe this, but look at it. You're like, no, TK, that is the natural color. That's just what color it was. And that's where I tell you, nope, nope, this is not the natural color. This is an H3 Hummer. See the glasses. Oh, that's plexiglass. See that? That's not even real glass. The real color was red. That's right, it was red. And um, somebody decided to spray this with like the most miserable yellow paint job ever. And uh, it's interesting to me because uh, it has 125 pre-bid on it. Well, the interesting stuff is um, just the fact that somebody was using this as a cab. Now, I don't understand this either. Look at this, look at this big ass heavy cable. Look, fellas, when you have car stereos, do not put this in your door. Run it through your firewall. If you do this and you close this the wrong way and this gets frayed, look at this sharp piece of metal it's sitting on right here. See this? And it gets frayed, it causes a fire, which will destroy your, your uh, vehicle. Not like you guys care. This one's flooded anyway. But let's go back and see what was actually in or what connected to this cable. I'm willing to bet they took it all out, but you never know. You never know. Uh-oh, we got a fake plastic. Oh, no. Must be a cap to a cologne or something. I was like, oh, it's like a fake plastic gold coin. And you can tell somebody was really having fun with this, because look at that tire. It is bald. They roasted that. Now, it could be that somebody stole it and painted it, but no, it was listed as a cab oh is this a wrap and not paint this is a wrap look at this okay that's better this is a wrap they wrapped it okay wow all right 
I guess a wrap is better than paint. You could peel it off and have a red uh, joint. But it is flood damage, so it is what it is. Cup holder for this from somewhere. There's a ground right here. So the wires for the ground and the amp and the power are right here. And there's the plug-in for that for your system. All of that's already there. Big tailgate. Eh, she might not be so bad. Except that she's flood damaged. And Yeah. Yeah. I know you guys are going to say, well, TK, you should start it. Well, here's the thing with that, guys. Unfortunately, at this yard, uh, they don't leave keys with vehicles. Um, you know, every yard is different. And all it takes is a one or two people to really screw it up for everybody. And that's why there's no keys here. I don't have to get into why that is. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. But that's enough of this one. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, man. Next up, guys, we have a brand new Tahoe. I think we've seen this one. Is this the same one or is this a new one? The Texas Edition Tahoe. We'll look at it real quick. I think we saw this before the last time I was here. I'm not sure though. Yeah, 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 we did. This one was missing the whole front. Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw this one before. 1,433 miles. It was clean too. She was exceptionally clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw this one. All right. So now we're going to go to the one that. You guys are going to be like, no, TK, no. I'm not buying it. I'm just showing it to y'all, man. Calm down. Calm down. See, I'm smart. Like, I, I when it comes to cars, anyways, you know, I, it's not, I'm not to say I don't ever buy sight unseen cars and get burned. You've seen me do it a few times here on the channel. But cars like this are fairly interesting look at this Range Rover Sport HSE let's get into it all right guys so we have a Range Rover HSE which means a supercharged Range Rover 2014 with 111,000 miles on it oof well she's clean she is listed as a run and drive now, I don't know if this is before Tata took it over or not, but take a quick look at the interior here. She is very clean, man. Very nice. Very luxurious. Now, I know my sister had one of these. I don't know. what I think she rented one, maybe on Toro or something, and it was a, it was a disaster. But this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Don't know why it's here. There's no uh, loss type. I have to look and see if it's got hail damage or something. I'm not seeing anything, but she's fairly clean. Let's take a look under the hood. You got that supercharged Range Rover engine in here. Now, I am not seeing a, you know, direct particular reason for this to be here. Huh. Ooh. Maybe that's why? Not, I mean, it's very, very, very low on coolant. Maybe they ran it hot. Huh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I have to add this to the watch list and we'll see what it goes for. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But it's clean. Like I said, I can't find... I don't see any hail damage, any dings, scratch. Maybe it's a repo. Could be a repo. I don't see it was hit in the rear. I don't see any damage to this thing, man. Y'all guess below. Guess in the comments. I'm going to do some research on it find out why it's here. But I'll add it. I'm definitely adding this to the watch list for sure. Because, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, let me know. 
guess in the comments below. We'll see. Maybe I'll give a follow-up if I know before the end of the video. Huh. Okay, okay. Now, look at this. Another Hummer. Another H3. These are becoming regular, regular guests out here at Copart. Almost like they're just chilling out here on a regular basis. This one's got 227,000 miles. It's blue. It's got Goodyear. I'm guessing those are Dura tracks in the rear. And it's got some kind of food stamp tire on the front. Goodyear Wrangler authorities, not Dura tracks. They got authorities. Because, you know, they had authority in the ass end. And they had food stamp tires on the front end. I don't know what the hell is going on. That, that's enough. When I see the food stamp tires on the front with the nice tires in the rear. And now it's here at Copart. That's enough to tell me that, you know, there were some issues you couldn't afford the vehicle. And yeah. Uh, another lost type unknown. Not really a fan of these because they have the five cylinder motor, which I know some of you say, well, it's really reliable. It's an Isuzu motor, man. They put them in the Colorado. Yeah, 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 yeah. The seats don't look bad. The interior is not horrible. That's like somebody trying to say, you know, that's like me trying to sell you on a female or something that I'm really attracted to, or I think like she's bad and you're just not attracted to that type of female. And I'm like, yeah, man, you should, man, she got she got a big old butt though, bro. You should, I'm telling you, and you might not be a butt dude. You might be something, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't like the five cylinder, I don't like the five cylinder. I know that's probably a weird uh, or not the best way to equate that, but yeah, yeah, no, no, it is, it is. She's clean, man. I'll give it that. It is clean. It is very clean for what it is. And if you wanted just a cheap food stamp truck that you could probably drive for the next year, that you could get for a low price, you're probably going to do a motor in it, though, at 227,000 miles if you wanted to keep it. LS swap it, call it a day, then you have a monster. But, yeah, not really much to show on this one. On to the next one. Yeah, we're going to make the Yoda boys happy. The Yoda boys. We got a Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. This is like the, the King Ranch of Toyota. This is a 20 with 7,400 miles on it. Let's take a look around the whole outside of the rear. I don't see any damage, no cab damage. Nothing's banged into it. Bumper looks like it lines up. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any damage guys. I don't know why it's here. Oh, it's listed as a flood, really. This is the second 1794 I've seen like this, guys. We had one like this uh out in Oh, is it locked? Are you serious? That sucks balls. They had one of these like this out in Lumberton uh, North Carolina. We had a black one like this that I showed you guys back in the day. Sorry. Well, that was quick. I was really interested in this one. She's locked out. Flood vehicle that runs and drives. Maybe I'll see if I can grab the keys to this. We'll come back and, and we'll look on the interior. But if not, there she is. La, 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 la. All right, look at this. Ford Thunderbird. Now you know that this is clean, man. Um, look, I don't even know if you can get this plastic bumper for this anymore. I'm sure you could probably get it somewhere, but that's really what the car needs and some body work to the rear. Let's take a quick walk around of it. You can see the damage right here, which I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty significant. That's some pretty serious damage. I'm gonna quit messing with y'all with the zoom. Um, but most of the parts like the panel and stuff for back here are already in the car it comes with parts um the hard top does disconnect and come off which makes this a convertible but you're looking at some body work right here or use that panel that comes in which you're gonna have to un you know cut the spot welds off take this off and weld that piece that's in there in um not not doable 
I would body fill and work on that door, replace the rear bumper, maybe, unless you can get a really good body guy to make it look appropriate. You're looking at a tail light lens. It's not horrible. And these cars are, believe it or not, I know you're going to say, they're not collectible, TK, shut up. They will be collectible, man. They're collectible now. I've, I've seen the value in these go up in the market. And this one runs and drives. And it's got a V8. It's not It's not a pansy car. It's It's not also not super fast or anything. But it's a nice car, man. They're nice. They're, they're decent. And look, here's the thing. If you're like me and you like to just drive something that nobody else has, this is it. All right? This is, this is kind of what you want. Super clean, man. Look at that. Super friggin' clean, man. Huh. Well, I ain't got to spend all day on it. Let me know what you guys think about this one in them comments down below. Jag, 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 jag. Yeah, man. Jag, man. Damn Jaguar. Love this, man. This is basically the XJS XK replacement, you know? And I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I really, really like it. What year is this? It's a 14. It's a four, 2014 F-Type. Now, look, man. Whew. You know, and I bet you that back bumper would bolt back on and you probably could get the trim pieces and stuff and maybe even able to save this rear bumper maybe maybe Ooh, a little bit of body work here's up oh it's plastic oh i mean you could probably fix it though i would attempt to fix it before i replace all that panel i would attempt to fix that she's not horrible Definitely not horrible. Very clean in the interior as well. Very, very, very clean in the interior. Huh. Well. Well, well, well. I like it, man. I think it's pretty clean. But what do you guys think about this one? I mean, I'm I'm Irish. Uh, I probably shouldn't say this. I'm going to piss off some people. Orange is not my favorite color. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it right there. Oh, orange is not my favorite color. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. It's getting hot out here. My balls are on my leg. <laughs> I'm done, man. Oh, I'm done, man. Oh. Old Volvo. I know y'all probably want to see that. Maybe we'll come back and look at that later. Oh, boy. Today must be the day of, of H3s. I swear to God, man. Look at this. Another h3 hummer this one is in black i know y'all gonna be like damn tk what is it? Is, is it is it is it is it h3 hummer day i guess so man well let's go ahead and take a look at this one 2009 hummer h3 213,000 miles you have good wrench all terrains looks like they had rims in the front uh stock tire on the rear uh-oh what is that noise i heard that from the other one Sounds like some kind of mechanism when you uh, open the door past a certain point. Well, this has keys. We'll look and see if she'll start. I'm pretty sure she's probably dead as a doornail, but it doesn't hurt for me to take a look at it and see. Oh, of course. <sighs> nope. She's dead as a doornail. And this has the cloth seats. There's the other rim, so they must have hit something with that. All right. That explains 
the stock tire on it and the spare is here rest of the rim at least the rim does come with the truck she's fairly clean i mean it is definitely a lower trim than the other two we looked at yeah they hit something in that that rim is damaged huh i don't know man well it's another hummer damn that's that's crazy i don't think i've ever had three hummers in one video might just have to call this video hummers upon hummers upon hummers like jesus and you know what i'll go through it i'll probably find like 10 more like it's it's retarded i know but there you have it let me know what you guys think about this one not really much to show with this to be honest you know but yeah all right guys and now before we wrap up today i wanted to wrap up with a solid vehicle and we're gonna, gonna go look at a duramax now it's not the duramax that you probably think you know before you get excited look it says duramax all right it says z71 and if this looks familiar to you this is the same truck that i purchased when I was out in Las Vegas back in what, 2018, 2019, whatever it was, 2019, when we bought the first Black Mamba, and I had that truck for what, two weeks, and it blew up. The 3.0, and I'm willing to bet this is mechanical damage too. The 3.0 uh, Duramax engine is absolute dog shit, and I can say that. Z71 right here, nice wheels and whatnot on it. She's clean nice interior she's a clean truck man and this is the thing i enjoyed mine when it ran but it ran hot and it was way outside of its operating temperatures of where it was supposed to be and uh that was it Ooh, she got a flat back here huh and she's missing her fuel door okay Forty-four thousand. 574 miles of damages in the left front all right clean interior very clean very 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 clean door almost doesn't want to line up fold that in so i don't hit it but yeah duramax and you can see the uh damage here now it really would just be replacing the door and the fender for real this kind of stuff you might eh, i'd probably replace i'm petty man i'd replace the plastic and everything but the headlight and stuff looks good really just the fender you're probably gonna have to bend back the core support in there but it's fixable it's fixable i wouldn't fix it i think it's a total piece of shit but that's just me uh lost type is front end and mechanical uh so yeah I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Not a bad way to wrap up, I think, before we go to the auction. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the live walk around portion of today's video. Now, we have, uh, we're gonna get into the auction portion of today's video and see what some of these vehicles sell for. I have one that I am bidding on, so I absolutely have to be in there. Um, and it's going to be the biggest purchase I think I have ever made at Copart if I can win it. I do have a budget. The budget is $95,000. Yeah. That, when I tell you it's the biggest purchase, I mean, this is a big, big, big purchase. But I also think it could really shoot the channel to a whole nother level. And that's why we're making the purchase. And it's a super rare friggin' car. So um, and that's why you didn't see it today in today's video. I'm not showing it. I'm not letting anybody know about it. I'm just trying to jump on this while I can. And then you guys get to see the fruits of that. But anyways... With that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one with another live walk around. But right now, we're going to jump into the live auction portion and see what some of these cars are selling for. Go! So we're in here in the live auction right now, guys. Damn it, I turned that off. I cut the music off. We're not going to be in here all day either, guys. Just a little bit of the live auction today. I want to High see participation in the lane. I want to see what some of this stuff is going for today. This Honda Accord at 750 is too damn high. 
with 200,000 miles and the front end smashed in. People are just retarded now with bidding on stuff, man. People just over are just willing to just overpay for whatever. They don't care, man. It's ridiculous. Bonus time. Let Sold. it go. I was about to say, let that damn thing go, man. This is a whole nother piece of crap all by itself. Hail damage, but the Sebring did not have a good motor. Yeah, 450 bucks. Sold. Bye. Sold. Malibu. Yeah, it's not too high, but the rear end damage. Sold. No, nah, they're going pretty quick though. They're running through these cars. This is dealer only. is a hot lot. They're going to bid this one up for no reason, man. That's crazy. Bonus time. Sold on approval. Suzuki, now the Suzuki wasn't a bad car, but trying to find parts for this thing is going to be damn near impossible. Sold on approval. Buick Enclave, hail damage. Sold. Mm, that might not have been a bad deal. That might not have been a bad deal. Captiva. Crap. Sold on approval. New bidder.
sold on approval. No, that was too much. Sold. Yeah. These are all dealer only. Q5 is a sucker, sucker car, man. I just, I feel like they take advantage of people with Sold. that one. It's just a ticket one, man. That's not bad. I mean, it's an SXT journey, though. Crap motor. Sold. They're going quick today, man. They are going damn quick. Sold. Another dealer only. Hundred bucks. Sold on approval. Hundred bucks. No bidder. A hot lot. No bitter. I never understood why they bid these up. These are absolute pieces of crap. The Jeep Compass is trash. Let's look and see what else they got coming up. That Ram is not bad. Must be dealer only. Bonus time. We'll let them get out of here on this one so we can tap in on the next one. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Sold on approval. Get that trash out of here. Yeah, I figured it was a dealer only, man. I would have bid on that. Look at that, man. 375 bucks. Even though it's got mechanical no and, and it's clean and it's a clean title. Yeah, bid these dealers up. Come on, come on, international. Let's go, man. Make them pay too. Shit. Let's go. Bonus time. Mm hmm. Come on, Mexico. You know you want it. You know you want it, Mexico. Sold on approval. Damn. They'll bid this damn Camaro up, though. With a V6. With a V6. Come on with these V6 Camaros, man. Stop bidding these up. There's nothing special about this car. Nothing. Nothing special about this car at all. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This is a hot lot. Hell no, nah, man. They're tripping.
Look at them over. Look at them overpaying for this garbage, man. It's a V6, man. It's a three thousand dollar car, man. Wow. Here's your sign. Y'all enjoy that. I hope y'all enjoy that. Garbage. Hot garbage. No bitter. And it's got a salvage title, man. Oh my god. Oh man. You can't fix stupid. Bonus time. Well, I think this is it for me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody had to come in. You know they had to do it. Sold. Oh my God, man. People are dumb and just overpaying. Anywho's. Um, that's going to do it for the Copart walk around and the live auction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Again, major sponsor, major shout out to the sponsors at Ridge. Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. Go tap in with them, like I said. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. More work coming on the Green Monster. I don't know if you've seen the tent video yet, but the glass has been replaced. New tent. We're doing lots and lots and lots of work to the Green Monster and getting her right. So stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. Spam that comment section, man. Let me know. Let me know how what you guys think about today's video. What vehicles you found interesting. Smash the thumbs up button because it really helps us with the algorithm and helps get the videos out more. We're trying to keep pushing that. We look like we're going to break that 50,000 mark before the end of the year. We're rapidly approaching 45,000 subscribers, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all for that. But uh, anywho, let's make it happen, Captain. Let's get this going. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.